Yeah, so in this video, wow. uh, what I'm going to do is look at an SUV tent uh, to put on the um, on the back of the element and see if they're any good. Oh. Hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, then please uh, subscribe, and we'll do more. And hit the like button. So okay, so the first thing with an APA SUV tent when it's on the back of your element is you do get a lot of comments about it. You get people coming up and wanting to know what it is and. Um, how it goes together that thing is and the general consensus is it's a very very cool thing to have um, yeah provokes a lot of interest so here's a better look at the vehicle dock they say it's just like, like an elastic skirt and this SUV tent it boasts being able to um, attach to any SUV so you got anything that will fit in there this is a tent for you okay so Napier SUV tent what was it like so on a good thing I think the build quality of this tent is absolutely fantastic um, the way it comes packaged everything looks really durable um, it is, I'm going to say it's reasonably easy to put up. It's a big tent. If you've got more hands, it's going to be a lot easier to put this thing up. Um, on your own, I have managed it. It's taken, it's taken about an hour and 20 minutes really. So the 10 minute setup went out the window. Um, but it's pretty easy to set up. It sets up pretty much the same as every single dome tent. Okay, fly sheet. So it's telling me that you've got to drape the rain fly over the tent and uh, the side that says vehicle side goes towards the vehicle. tent up it's pretty much gone up okay it's going to get quicker the more um, the more I practice it um, but I was saying with the fly sheet now because of the uh, tent is seven foot it takes a bit of getting this fly sheet over and if you're on your own and you're on in your short and it's windy I mean good luck uh, but if there's more of you again with the pole raising if there's more of you, it just makes life a little bit easier. So of course the other thing with tents, um, I'm one peg short, so it's always a good idea to bring more pegs. Just get some, chuck them in your uh, field bag, and yeah, because like I say, this is straight out of the box, there's one peg missing. So, but as I say, you can buy these kits in uh, Canadian Tire, it's the Woods Hard Ground Tent Peg Kit, and in here you have these kind of screwing anchors. Now, I found this tent really easy to put up. Um, it's nice foresty type ground. When I put tents up in British Columbia, the next province over, you're never far from a rock, so you're always hitting a rock, bending your tent pegs, it's a pain in the arse. So these things are a lot more durable and you can actually screw them in. There's a kind of a, wor a screw worm on there. So you can screw them into the ground. Same goes with these, they're like big nails. Give it a good clout. Um, yeah, just a bit more heavy duty. So. Now the other beauty of this tent, of course, is it's an SUV tent, but it also is a standalone tent. So 
if you just need to go camping without your vehicle that kind of stuff it's not really a backpacking tent because it weighs too much uh, but if you want to put it up in the garden certainly as a mosquito screen absolutely fantastic because you've got the mosquito screen on here then you've got the, wi the two windows which equally set up as mosquito screens kind of show you So you've got a kind of window here, window there. There's a window in this part here. Um, this all zips up, which I'll show you in a minute. And yeah, take the fly off it. You've got like a really good mosquito screen. So anyway, so the way that I've got the elements set up is a lot of this stuff comes out into the tent. And then I've got my woods camping cot, which has been absolutely phenomenal fits perfectly in the element with the um, passenger seat push forward and press forward and it's just a perfect setup bed very very comfortable I've got my Canadian Arctic sleeping bag on there which I haven't needed but it's it's been a bit chilly kind of th between three and six o'clock in the morning before the Sun comes up um, so that's worked out really well Again, with the tailgate of the element, uh, you've got a ready-made table there, seat, whatever you want to do on there. It's just absolutely perfect. As you can see, I've got all my rocks that I've picked up on my journey. Cameras, uh, camp kitchen, everything's kind of in there. All my clothes are in that uh, olive bag there. Cameras are in the back bag at the back. So I try and keep things in... Um, in its own little bag or compartment so I know exactly where it is. So that's it closed up and then this is what I was telling you about the door is we have yet another mosquito net here So I think this as well as just being a, um, it's a very clever idea to have it as a SUV tent, but also have it as a standalone tent as well. Um, yeah, works really well, Let me get that out. So it goes on to, it fits onto the car very, very simply. You've got this great big whopping kind of uh, connection part of the tent, I don't know what the technical term is. But on top of it, um, you have these straps with hooks on. Now, because I've got the old roof bar on the element, um, it's very easy to hook this thing on because it just hooks onto the side bars here. Um, if you have um, an SUV or an element that doesn't have the roof, bar, the roof box on, these things will extend, they'll come right over the car and they'll fit down in here somewhere. I think you have to undo the hood to clip it on. Um, but equally, if you've got a ball bar or something, you can just clip it on anywhere, basically. Uh, the manual says clip it under the, under the bonnet, under the hood. So that's kind of where we are with that. And then the second part of it is all this is elastic. We're going, we're going. So the elastic just clips under there. And you pull that strap under, tighten it all up. And then this thing is basically just a hook. It's just a hook, pulls in and clips onto your hub or again anywhere on the vehicle that you want it to. Oh, okay this is fun. 
and this is kind of really what I wanted to wanted to happen and that's to have a really good storm good thunderstorm so you see my tent at the back and my bed and everything I'm totally snug as a bug and a rug in here but over there there's a pretty nice lightning storm going on I have had some rain here so it has leaked a little bit um, and I'll say a little bit a very tiny bit probably less than a cup full of water the whole time I've been here and what that does what I found is with these tents back in the day they used to have like a full fly sheet that went all the way over the tent um, certainly all my old tents used to have that so you'd actually unzip the fly sheet, the flies to call them in, in Canada, and then you'd unzip your main tent underneath. So the two things was two, two kind of, uh, two entities. The fly sheet, of course, would be your main rain stopper. What they do with modern tents now, and a lot of dome tents, cheap, cheaper end of dome tents, is they make the fly just cover a percentage of the tent usually over the top it's like a glorified tarp comes down there and you're relying on the nylon and the front of the tent to stop the stop the rain and it's only a single barrier and it's supposed to be that is it 3000 3000 m uh, waterproof coating but the zips are very susceptible for leakage any zip is um, so you get water drips off the fly sheet onto the main tent and then comes down and collects around the zipper and then just drips inside um, if it had a full fly full fly sheet it'd be fantastic um, that's its only downside but it hasn't rained that much but the rain we've had here has been really really heavy um, so the amount of rain that we have had it's done its job it's it's exceptionally good to get the air out of your tent you always pay homage to the god of camping thank you for giving me wonderful nights dry sleep and thank you for letting me camp in this fantastic place <laughs> Yes, when you get the air out of your tent, always pay homage to the god of camping. So that's the Napier SUV tent, as I say, it's found on Amazon, um, it's just over $200, and for, for an element or any SUV, it's a brilliant investment, you can't really fault it. Um, so, hope you enjoyed this video hit the like button, uh, get more notifications of my upcoming adventures and uh, we'll see you next time. Okay, bye bye for now. <laughs>